Welcome to the Platform Special Interest Group, the 5th of November, 2020. Let's take a look at the agenda and work to there. So topics, open action items, adopt open JDK for Docker on Debian, retirement plan for Debian stretch nine in our Docker images, a status report on PowerPC 64 agent access, status report on work on Windows Server LTSC 2019 Docker images. Here. Status report on Oracle Cloud by me. Azure credit offer status report is another platform topic and proposing a new meeting time. Anything else that you'd like to propose? Okay, let's go ahead. So I still have the action item to open the Jenkins enhancement proposal for Docker operating system support. Um, I've run through a script that looks for inconsistencies and outdated uh, dependencies in our uh, images. And this that includes the Jenkins controller, the various forms of agents, including SSH agent and Docker inbound agent. Uh, and I was impressed at how relatively few uh, astonishing inconsistencies I found. I was expecting to find many, many because they're, they're relatively independently maintained. The one that I did see is we're still using JD8K8U242, 242, uh, on the image that is probably the most used image. And that JDK is now quite out of date, it should be 272. And I think that means that it's probably open JDK, not adopt open JDK. And so that's a change, but that change will naturally come as we switch to from Debian 9 to Debian 10 for the LTS image, because the Debian 10 based image is already using JDK 8U272. So that one inconsistency I found will resolve itself as we make the transition away from Debian 9. Any question on the, the that topic? So Alex's action items will leave open. Uh, I did want to share that the install plugins.sh script um, that does no work with dependencies and has to have every single plugin listed is now now has a much better replacement included in the Docker image. And our install guide actually uses the new version. So this right here, this run line here, installs all the plugins needed to run Jenkins Blue Ocean with a single command line and one single argument. It makes it look so much better and the tutorial and the install guide feels better because of it. So thanks to, to Tim Jacome for integrating that and Alex for getting it included in the Docker image. The tutorials also do the same thing. They use that nice, simple one line command to install the entire Blue Ocean. Uh, next topic was a blog post on plugin installation manager and update center. Sorry, I haven't done yet, done that yet. That's let me just put that as a to do for me. It'll stay as an action. I hope to get to that before our next meeting. It won't be this week, but I hope before this, before we meet again in two weeks. And then Jim Crowley had the, the action item for refinements on parallelization and multi-arch support. And that is in progress based on uh, conversations in the Twitter chat. Thanks to Jim for his work there. Uh, we're a little early in the morning now, his time in the US where he's based in upstate New York. Next topic, adopt open JDK for Docker on Debian. Uh, this one, I believe, has been merged. So since it's been merged, I think we're good to go. So let's just note that as done. Uh, needs test and confirmation. Okay. 
next topic was any question there, Gareth, in terms of adopt? No. Great. Retirement plan for Debian stretch nine in our Docker images. So what this, this really means is that we've got Debian nine, that is the base of our Docker images for the LTS image. And Debian nine in early 2022, one will be unsupported. Uh, that unsupported Debian 9 then means that we need to get off Debian 9. So my proposal would be that we announce that we will switch the LTS tag from using, using Debian 9 to using Debian 10 as of December when we release 2.263.1 as the LTS. And I propose to send a, a send that proposal to the Jenkins Dev developers list and uh, prepare a blog post. I don't know that I don't think that most users will see that as a as a significant change. Uh, our slim image is already using Debian ten and and doesn't show an awful lot of changes. And even if there are changes, our users will need to adapt. Debian 9 is going off support. All right, next topic was PowerPC 64 LE agent access. Proud, to, proud and grateful that Alex and Raphael of IBM were, a, Alex from Broadcom and Raphael of IBM were able to get our connection to the PowerPC 64 LE agent restored again. So you can now use the PPC 64 LE on your ci.jenkins.io jobs. Uh, we had several jobs that have used it in the past and we'll continue broadening those. Nice, fast machine, great way to check platform portability. Gareth, you wanna report on Windows Server 2019 progress? Certainly. Um, actually, I've just lost power again. So um, if I disappear, that's that's why. Um, but sure. So we have um, we've made pretty good progress with um, the 2019 LTSC um, hosts that are uh, being built for AWS and Azure, and they seem to be running successfully. Um, there's probably they pro we probably have got some places where we haven't updated those yet. Um, so I'll, I'll do a, a pass of those to make sure that they're running in all environments later on. Uh, the adopt open JDK repository, oh, sorry, yeah, the adopt open JDK repository has been forked so that we can add 2019 LTSC images under the Jenkins 4 eval organization um, for a period of time until the, the pull request um, can be um, merged and they can be officially supported by Adopt Open JDK. Uh, those images appear to be building correctly um, and are being published into the Jenkins for eval Docker Hub repo. Um, I've got a few, I've still have a few issues with some of the tags that I'm hoping to uh, resolve today. Um, and then there is I'll let you catch up. <laughs> and then there's a uh, PR to add um, the 2019 LTSC based builds for the Jenkins Docker images um, as soon as I've got the tags sorted. That's excellent. Okay, so so the, the Jenkins for eval base image, um, I, I still think that is ingenious. So the the pull request to adopt open jdk in hopes that they will eventually provide us a standard image windows based that then automatically upgrades to new versions of jdk every time they release a new version is really attractive and in the interim you're using that image definition as the base image that's i think that's great yeah we'll have to see how that goes with the updates that they publish um, but there may, there may be another job that we need to run to, 
keep that in sync. But um, okay. yeah. So, and is this a place where I haven't looked at Dependabot as a way to manage these updates? I know we have 8U242 in one location. Is there, is that? Is that something that Dependabot could help us manage or not really? Possibly. So I actually think if um, the community kind of want to build images on another version of Windows, so say they want to lock to 2004 or something like that, or maybe even um, 20H2, then it should be possible to use Dependabot to stay to keep it up to date um, from the, the actual official Jenkins releases. Um, that's not something we tried, but I think we can do that with it. You could do that with a multi-stage build. Um, Dependabot will update um, images in that way. Oh, okay, all right. So um, yeah, I think, I think that is an option, um, but it's probably something we should document and, uh, and blog about. I think, because it's, it's, I'm sure there's going to be um, someone asking on how to do that. So whilst it may not be something that we, we want to officially support, um, we should be able to provide guidance on how to do it. Right. Okay. So that would allow someone who says, Ooh, I must have 20 H2 to say yeah. today. Okay. If you must have 20 H2, you'll need to build your own image and here's how you do it. And if you use this depend about technique, it will keep you up to date as a result. Yep. That is it's excellent. Okay. Anything else, Gareth? I know that's. I think that's everything on the. I'll. 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 I'll provide a link to the um, Jenkins Docker image PR, but I'll do that. I haven't actually created the PR yet, so I have it locally. Great, excellent, thank you. That's exceptional, thank you, thank you. All right, um, next topic then, Oracle Cloud. So um, Oracle has asked us to or express their interest in helping the Jenkins project and getting more involved. Uh, unfortunately, I've dropped the ball on this one, been busy on other things. Uh, Gilson of their of the Oracle team asked just yesterday for a second time, hey Mark, how's your experiment going with Oracle container instances? And I haven't started that. So Mark, I, I should start the experiment probably this weekend and uh, share the results with Oracle and with others. I don't yet know if I'll blog about it. It'll depend on the results. If they're positive, I'll likely blog about it just because, hey, the experience is worthwhile to share. And then next topic, Azure credit offer. Uh, so what the background on this is that we currently pay about $10,000 a month to Microsoft for the Azure services and hardware that we use. And our Microsoft customer success manager uh, asked us, hey, would you like to apply for this credit offer that gives credit to worthy causes? And uh, so we submitted our application and we hope that they will give some offsetting donation to reduce the costs that are currently paid by the Continuous Delivery Foundation for our Azure infrastructure. Um, we've provided some, we'll provide some additional detail to them, hope that that application process goes through and hope to hear within the next two to four weeks, whether or not we were accepted. Last topic, proposing a new meeting time. Uh, meeting participation has gone down, and right now this, this particular meeting is, starts at 5 a.m. my local time here in, in northern Colorado, and that's awfully early. So I propose that I'll send out an, a survey um, to ask the typical participants what time they would like to meet instead in hopes of getting more participation 
in this session so that we can give each other status reports. Uh, the, this time doesn't work for me personally, and I would like to avoid being up at 4.30 in the morning just so that I can start a meeting this early. Gareth, anything else that I should be, that we should be discussing today? No, I don't think so. All right, let's call this meeting done then. Thanks very much and see you.